This is a ponderosa pine sapling. So the genus is Pinus. And hopefully you remember that pines are distinguished by having their needles bundled in fascicles. So the needles have a little papery sheath around the base of them that holds them together. And typically when they, when they die and fall off, they are evergreen, so the, the needles will last for several seasons. But then when they do die and fall off, they usually stay bundled in that. And in this case, ponderosa pine has needles and fascicles of three. And the needles are about 10 to 20 centimeters long. So these are the actually the longest needles of any pines in BC. There's other species of pines that have longer needles, but if you're in BC and you see a long a pine with long needles in cluster in fascicles of three, you're probably looking at a ponderosa pine. In BC, ponderosa pine tend to grow in open forests in hot, dry valleys. So primarily in the ponderosa pine back zone, but can also be found in the interior Douglas fir back zone, like we are here. Ponderosa pine is also a tree that has very closely co-evolved with a stand maintaining fire disturbance regime. So a crown fire or a stand replacing fire uh, would, would likely kill a ponderosa pine. And a young sapling like this probably wouldn't be able to withstand much of a fire. But when the trees are mature, they have very thick bark that helps protect their cambium from a stand replace, or sorry, from stand maintaining fires. So lower intensity surface fires that might kill other vegetation on the ground, it might kill young trees, but a large ponderosa pine will be able to survive that fire. And then um, they're fast growing and uh, they're, shade intolerant. So after a fire clears out a lot of the competition, the remaining trees can drop seed and we can, if the, the moisture conditions are right, we potentially have very good conditions for regeneration of ponderosa pine after that stand maintaining fire. The bark on ponderosa pine is really beautiful. It's kind of an orange brown to cinnamon color. It really stands out. And these fissures uh, are deeply incised, so they, they cut pretty deeply, and they tend to be black on the inside, so that gives you a bit of a clue. And they also get kind of a puzzle piece shape to them. This is obviously a huge tree, so uh, smaller trees aren't gonna uh, be as dramatic looking as this one, but this is really characteristic of a, of a big old ponderosa pine and what its bark looks like. The cones are oval, about eight to 14 centimeters long, and they have thick scales armed with a firm, sharp prickle. 